Well, the defense minister essentially was laying out all the uh, countries that Israel is coming under threat from. Uh, Yemen, uh, that has fired uh, drones and missiles on Israel's southern city of Eilat. Uh, Syria and Lebanon, uh, the two countries where uh, both the Syrian military and Hezbollah, the Shiite militant group, has been firing on Israel's north uh, consistently, especially, we should say, uh, those attacks intensifying in the last several weeks. Uh, he also mentioned uh, Iraq militias there uh, that are also intending to fire, uh, that haven't succeeded uh, perhaps on, on Israel. Uh, the West Bank is an area where there are still lots of militants there. Israel's conducting raids there overnight. Uh, and of course, uh, the Gaza Strip, the main arena of this war. And Yoav Golan mentioned Iran as well. Uh, but he also said that of the arenas Israel's operated or threats, Israel has addressed six of them. Uh, if we do a, a elimination, we can see that Likely, this was a veiled reference, perhaps, to uh, last night's uh, assassination of a top Iranian general, which Iran has blamed uh, on Israel on an Israeli airstrike near Damascus. Uh, Yoav Gallant, of course, and Israel not claiming that attack, uh, but it is the one, if you look at those seven arenas and you do the math, uh, Iraq is the one that Israel has not come close to. And if you include that assassination attempt, it may have been a message Yoav Gallant was sending to Iran, who, by the way, is supporting many of the proxy groups that are attacking Israel, uh, that it will go after even a senior person like uh, Saeed Muavi, who was a close uh, associate of Qasem Soleimani, the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard that was killed in an airstrike uh, by the U.S. a few years ago back in Baghdad.